Hello everyone, it's Zareen here. I wanted to share a technique. I don't know if anybody else has come up with it yet. I was more or less stumbling upon it, goofing off with some of my new metallic rub-ons. I call it the double embossing technique. Um, it, you do one run through with texture and then run it through with a die. And I used my gears and this is how they turn out, if you can, oh, of course I put it upside down. This is how they turned out. You can see the color underneath and then the secondary texture within the die itself. And I will show you all how to do this. You will need scratch paper, uh, I well, cardstock. Um, you can pretty much use anything since you're going to cover it up with ink anyway. You will need metallic rub-ons, or you can do it with embossing powders. I just find the metallic rub-ons are faster, plus it's a lot easier to get multiple colors, and I like to do quite a bit of variation. To start with, you want to take your scratch sheet of paper, and you want to run it through with one of your um, cuddle bug folders, or just your embossing folders. See, I did the exact same texture here as here, and this is just blank by itself. And then you take your rub-ons. Like I said, I like to use multiple colors and just rub it over the top. And you can use just one color if you want to. I like to use multiple colors just because it ends up looking really neat. It doesn't seem to want to work as well on this scrapbooking cardstock. I think it's just because there's a coating on top of the paper. For my first one, I used just plain craft cardstock, and that worked really, really well. And just regular plain colored cardstock would work just fine. White. I wouldn't recommend black because, of course, the rub-ons would show up really, really well, but the other colors underneath won't. I don't have exactly a great amount on there, but I have a little bit. And next, you will want to take some of your either distress inks or re-inkers. I just grabbed a handful of my distress inks. When I was doing this last night, I found it actually works well, if you wet your paper down a little bit first, because that way your drops aren't, oops, and a ferret got hold of that one and messed it up a little bit. <laughs> Just start doing some drops, and you can use as few or as many colors as you want. I'm just going to do a couple here to show you exactly what I'm doing. I just spray, just drip dots. It works fine with reinkers. I used some of my um, stamping up reinkers last night and it worked probably even better than the distress inks. Just because the distress inks are probably like a thicker formula so they don't spread as well. And this really is not working very well with this kind of paper unfortunately. But the general idea is that you use your cardstock, dip, drip the inks on there, wet it down, spread it out, and then you want to let it dry. I will move this out of the way <laughs> and clean up my mess here. And I like to let mine dry, just air dry, as opposed to using a heat gun, because the heat gun will tend to raise the paper and I like, to, I like it to lay flat, so I just tend to leave it for a while until it's completely dry. Which is what I have here. This was the plain craft cardstock. I used uh, this same set of rub-ons and just went all over it, dripped my inks, and then afterwards, after it's dry, I do rub it a little bit with a baby wipe to get any excess ink off 
that's on top of the rub on. You just want to be careful not to rub any of the metallic paste off. So now I have this all finished and I'm going to use my gears. Just kind of place them on there randomly. I still got paper on here from last time. That's about all that's going to fit on there and run it through your die cutting machine. I have another video where I show how to do die cutting with a texture boutique and that's what I still use just because that's the only thing I have money and space for at the moment. I just lay them on there. Let's see. And my sandwich. And run them through. Come on, darn thing. They're working. not the most optimum way to do this but it does work whoops and of course now they're falling apart but here we go here is one Pop all the little dealies out here so you have and I don't run it through with my rubber gasket to give the other texture for the gears. I just let the original texture that I ran through speak for itself so it looks a bit more ornate, maybe like elfish if you want to do kind of a fantasy steampunk style. Some of these other ones. It can get a little difficult to pop the dies pop the paper out of the dies. So I take just a little straight pen and very carefully at an angle poke through the holes to get the paper loose. And peel it off. That one's very strong. And you want to use just plain inks and not something that has uh, shimmer powder or anything like that in there because otherwise it'll compete and you really won't see the underlying texture because those pigments will cover up things. Well, this one doesn't show up as strongly because I believe it's black. It still looks pretty neat. Not quite sure how well you can see that. My camera is good, but my lighting is hideous. And like I said, you can do this with embossing powders. I did, I did for this one. I did plain embossing powder, and then I actually used pigmented inks underneath. I used my Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, starburst stains and then it actually will work that way if you use embossing powder matte embossing powder or just plain gloss embossing powder nothing with any metallic in it and you can use a pigmented stain or your um pearlized mist or something of that nature but the embossing works the exact same way you run it through your with your texture plate rub it on top with a versamark pad and emboss it that way and then just run it through with your dies again. It works exactly the same way. So I hope you guys like this technique and if anybody out there has seen this video before from somebody else, please you know shoot me the um, link so I can link it in my uh, comments. So 
please try it. I'd love to see what you guys do with it.